Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today we need to look at some more reveals from Obsidian Flames and some more reveals which are very, very important. Because I've been telling you about Obsidian Flames, that one of the interesting things about it is that it comes from a single Japanese set. That's very rare as it happens. Generally speaking, our sets come from at least two Japanese sets, if not three. Sometimes even a little bit more, although that gets weird and complicated. We're not looking at that today. But Obsidian Flames is essentially the English version of the Japanese set, Ruler of the Black Flame. One of the main reasons for that, of course, is that the mini set that comes before Ruler of the Black Flame is Pokemon Card 151, which is being brought over here as the special set Scarlet and Violet 151, which is why it ends up looking a bit weird and why we end up with essentially one Japanese set coming in as our set. Because, to put it simply, <laughs> the, um, the mini set is taken for something else. Okay, that makes perfect sense. But of course, our sets are, because they're taken from multiple Japanese sets, our sets are generally a little bit bigger. So what Pokemon are doing here is using this as an excuse to give us a bunch of other stuff that would usually be a little more awkward to fit into the English release schedule. And I told you in, I want to say yesterday's video, assuming the schedule holds, about cards like Decidue X and Clefable EX and Maridon EX, which of course have all come from the EX start decks over in Japan. That is a set of 8 start decks plus 2 extra to make 10 in total, which essentially make up the, this well, set of decks over in Japan. Which Japan get a separate decks, but we don't get that kind of stuff as separate decks. That's just not how it works. So what we end up with is this awkward situation, except it's not that awkward because now we get them in here and life is good. Although, to be clear, only six of the ten have been revealed. There is a chance the other four are taken and used as promos or whatever. But we've had some more reveals for Obsidian Flames, which show us more interesting stuff including Toad Scroll EX. And Toad Scroll EX is another very, very interesting reveal. I, I should, of course, give a bit of love, a shout out to the person who actually did the reveal of this card. The English version here comes from Imka Van Duren over on YouTube. And I've probably pronounced that terribly. I can only apologize, but I wrote it on the screen so you can see where it comes from here. And the reason Toad School EX is a very interesting card is because it doesn't come from Ruler of the Black Flame in Japan. And it doesn't come from those EX decks over in Japan. This is something else entirely. Before I go and spoil it for you, would anybody remember where it comes from? Anyone want to guess? It is from the EX set, the special set, over in Japan. They did this thing they do every so often, which is just brilliant, honestly. I think this is the fourth time they've gone and done it. And what you get is eight packs of cards. Here you get four Snow Hazard and four Clay Burst. They were two of the sets that made up Paldea Evolved over here. And then you get yourself a little promo pack with one random EX inside. And one of the options was Toad Scroll EX. And this was another card, Toad Scroll I mean, where it was a little bit weird and a little bit up in the air exactly where we were going to get this. Because this wasn't something that had a, a natural, well I suppose, place to come in the English schedule. Because Japan does this, they get these kind of cards... And then sometimes they end up as promos, sometimes they end up in special sets, sometimes they end up in regular sets. It's a little bit inconsistent where we get them, as is the case with these Japanese promos. But here it is confirmed that Toad Scroll EX is going to be coming in Obsidian Flames. So is it actually any good? Well, it's got the ability Protective Mycelium. Which says, prevent all effective attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to all of your Pokemon that have energy attached. That's really good. It's all effective attacks to all of your Pokemon with energy attached. Now, effective attacks, we're generally looking at stuff like removing energy, like instant KOs, 
and dropping damage counters. And yes, here I'm very much looking at Sableye. So Sableye is that super annoying one that tries to drop 12 damage counters and ruins of evolution decks and kind of sucks, honestly. <laughs> I am not a big fan of Sableye. And to be honest with you, I have not been... I literally did a video a little while ago basically saying how much I hate Sableye. I've not exactly been shy about telling you my thoughts about this card. I don't like it. Well, Toad School prevents all effects of attacks to all of your Pokemon with energy attached. And sure, it can be a little annoying to try and put energy on all of your Pokemon, I grant you. But this ability is on a Stage 1 Pokemon, and it means all of your Pokemon are safe from having energy removed. Damage counters, instant KOs, anything along those lines. This is a legit, really, really good ability. And I could see people playing Toad School just for that. And I can kind of prove it. Because people have been playing S Beyond V Max. And this is exactly the same ability as S Beyond V Max. And it's a single evolution, just like S Beyond. Uh, the big difference, essentially, is that this is evolving from a lower HP Pokemon. But it only gives up two prizes rather than three when KO'd. And, you know, giving up three prizes does mean that Espeon is a little bit of a liability. And honestly, this is good. We've already seen this ability be good. So I don't see any reason why we would assume it wouldn't be good here. That just doesn't really make very much sense. If it's a good ability on Espeon, it's a good ability here. There we go. As for the attack, 2 Grass Energy, 80 damage, plus 40 more for each of your bench Pokemon that has any Grass Energy attached. So, actually, with a full bench of Pokemon with Grass Energy attached, this is 280. It's a little bit awkward, but don't forget we do have your Ferrothorn here, which will allow you to attach, you know... A lot of energy in one go. Well, I'll give up two prizes. But you still do get a lot of energy. You know, you could basically get one energy on each of your bench Pokemon while giving up two prizes. So that could work quite nicely indeed. This is a card I've got my eye on. But there's another one that's gone and been revealed as well. And that is poor Motti X. And we don't need to do the big story time like we did a minute ago. It's also from that EX set over in Japan. It is one of the other ones available. Uh, for what it's worth, that EX set did focus on new Pokemon from Gen 9, which was pretty cool. Now, I don't have an English scan of poor Mott, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Um, I want to say it's either Spanish or Italian. I want to say Italian. Hang on a second. Let's go find out who did the reveal of the poor mod, and then I can tell you where from. No, it's GameReactor.es, which is Spanish. I should have gone with my initial thought. I am sorry. What we got here is a Stage 2 Pokemon. 300 HP is low for a Stage 2 EX. The free retreat, I do like. That is a nice bonus. And we got Spanish and Japanese scans here that we can use. And we did a Japanese now is easy for me to read. And we got single energy 60 and free energy. Discard two energy attached to this Pokemon. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. And it does 200 damage. Yeah. That's, um, that's pretty good. Incidentally, it is any of your opponent's Pokemon, benched or active, it doesn't matter. 220 is actually pretty good anywhere, because that'll KO bench Pokemon V, which is cool. But the stage 2 with a low HP really does put me off quite a bit here. Which, of course, then leads to the what should be a fairly obvious question at this stage. What about Houndstone? Because there were three new EXs in that EX set. Two of them have now been shown off and confirmed to be in our Obsidian Flame set, but Houndstone hasn't. I still think it's overwhelmingly likely that it's going to be in our set. There is a chance that it is going to be removed to be used as a promo. That has, of course, happened in the past. But I do think the most likely scenario here is it's just in our set. Now, single energy, 30 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, the Pokemon you attack can't retreat. It, it's fine, all right? It's okay. But free energy, 160, plus 10 more for each of your psychic Pokemon in the discard. And this should be starting to sound a little bit familiar at this stage, because of course in Scarlet and Violet we did have a Graveyard 
that did 10 damage for each Psychic Pokemon in the discard. And a Houndstone that for two Psychic Energy did 80. Plus 10 more free Psychic Energy in the discard. Or Psychic Pokemon, I should say. This now just goes further. All of these Pokemon do 10 more damage for each Pokemon in the discard that is a Psychic type. But the basic Pokemon just does 10 times. The single price Houndstone is 80 plus 10 times. And then the EX is 160 plus 10 times. There has got to be a deck here and I want to have a play around with it. What is very much worth bearing in mind as well here. We are talking about Pokemon that came from this EX special set over in Japan. They don't have special illustration rares. They don't even have full arts. There are no other versions of these cards. And we've seen this time and time again. We don't invent full arts when these cards come out in English. So they will be in Obsidian Flames. At least two of the three are confirmed. The third one I think will be. But it will just be the regular EX. There won't be full arts of Toad School and Bormot. Because full arts of those Pokemon don't exist. And we never get new ones in English. That just doesn't happen. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. Are you excited for these? Do you want to join in? Go nuts in the comment section. But be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games. All kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio. Where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, of course, like the lovely Uncle Poker Parker, who is one of our newer supporters and seems to be a very lovely person. So, shout out to them for the support and being a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.